Hi everyone, this is Marcia. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to part three of this jar. We have found some pretty good things in this um, 20 pound plus jar of jewelry and we still have a lot to go. We haven't even, we're barely halfway through it. So I've got some things on the mat here and we are going to continue looking to see what else is in here. So let's get started. Hope you all are having a good day. Ooh, well, let's, since I see it, let's start with the ring. That's pretty. Okay, well, it's showing copper, so it is a costume piece, but it reminds me of the David Yerman cable. He does a lot with the cable bracelets and rings. It's rather pretty, except for the wear. Pretty. I like it. Nice. So with rhinestones, a heart charm. Got that. Oh, that's pretty. I don't see anything on the inside of the bale. Wait a minute. I see something that may be a mark here. Or yeah, I think it says M something. Maybe MJ. Let me look. Yes, MJ. Haven't figured that one out either. I've gotten pieces marked MJ before. But very colorful. Very nice. Okay. I'm not sure what that's all about. Well, this is pretty. It's a clasp. No clasp? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, it has a tag, a connector, but no name on it. But this is, I'm sure, costume. Yeah, it's got a pull, but it's very pretty. Very nice design. Very nice. And we have some wooden beads with the box clasp. These are usually found on pearls. I mean, when I see this type of class, that's what I think of. Set of pearls. Interesting beads. Well, they're wood or bamboo. I'm not sure. Very lightweight, but they're painted beads. Wow. That's, uh... Oh, it's missing something right there. I don't know what that did, what that changed. Okay, well, got a broken watch. Got another ring. I am not sure what this is supposed to indicate. Too many to be a snake, not enough to be an octopus. Ow. Not quite sure, but it's a ring. It's another bangle. I think we got some of these with different colors. I don't know if it was this jar or another jar, but I know we've gotten, gotten ones like that. And we got some ribbon with seed beads, little stations, and a pendant. No name, but nice. It's nice. Well, there you go. We got a shell with the palm tree and moon, the South Carolina logo, state logo. Okay, L. be sterling. Maybe, maybe not. It looks handmade, so it's probably not going to have a stamp on it, but other than that, but it can be tested. Here's another bracelet. 
two bracelets. Oh, this one has a magnetic closure. It's cute. Oh, well, this is cute too. There's an owl. There's an owl. There's a crescent moon and another owl. This looks like it should have something else hanging off of it. It's going to stick. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And it's nice. Nice uh, closure. Wow. This is heavy. Oh, look at that pretty bead. Lamp work beads with the clear. They're all glass. Odd configuration. Feels gritty. Well, we've got a nail and a purple bow. I could guess as to what that represents, but I am not 100%. Purple is a royal color, I think, of Jesus on the cross. Perhaps the nails that they put into his hands and feet. But that's just my guess. We found the mate to one of these. We got this, I think, on the first video. But, oh, a little low there. But they match up, so we got those. Here's a pair. It says fine jewelry crafted for life. I don't know. Oh, look at these. Later, and if they're marked, I'll let you know. And I don't know. They they don't quite look sterling to me, but. Well, what do we have here? We have a stretch bracelet with farm equipment <laughs> in greens. Is that John Deere? Don't they? Aren't there tractors and farm equipment green? <laughs> That's cute. I do live in a farming community. Here's another bracelet. This one also has a magnetic clasp. This one's a little larger. All these sections have the rhinestone. It's kind of pretty. Another one of these. Bangles. Ooh. Ooh, it's like that peridot green color. My birthstone. Oh, it sparkles. <laughs> I like that. Let's see, what do we have here? We have some pearls. That's a pretty clasp. I don't see any names. Mm, some swirl. Is that the 1928 swirl? Looks like it, but... See what I mean? But if it is, I... Not exactly sure. And these almost the same length on all of them. This one may be a little bit more. But they're acrylic pearls. But a nice look. And we have this. Wow, this thing has a class, but it is, I've got to measure this. This measures about 30 inches doubled up, so it is a 60 inch necklace. You don't need a class, but yes, I know, I know people say, so you can double it and triple it and all that other stuff, and you can't do that without a clasp, because it wouldn't go over your head, but lots of space. Sparkly beads, that's for sure. Yes, indeed. Yep, I like it. And here, these are glass. Lobster claw glass. 
They look black and yet they look like they have a reddish look to them as well. I don't know if that's coming across. I'll look at these real quick. No. They look they look black. Nice. Nice, I tell ya. I'm finding a lot of single earrings. Alright, let me get back to this. This is chain, no clasp, with this strop. Shell, pearls, and a bar. So we've got that, and we've got a single pink bead. We've got a flip-flop charm. We've got a pair of pants, jeans, I guess, charm. And we have a tie bar, small tie bar. And I don't see a name on it. Cute, small. small. And what is this? This is a pen. I don't see a name. Is that a, supposed to be a lobster? It's got, it looks like it has claws. I have no idea. It almost looks like a slot machine. <laughs> I think it might be. I think the, I think the cr crab or lobster is holding... That's the handle. Oh, that is... That's different. That's different. Alrighty. Let's grab some more. Oh, got another piece in yellow. Last video we had a yellow piece. And these are all metal. That's uh, enameled with the panel over top of it. A little bit of wear on the chain and back. Oh, I tell you, it must be the lighting in here because Get it up. Yeah, that's better. It's very, um, it's coming off very light down here. But we got that. We got this braided leather. Very lightweight. And it's dirty. Ooh. We got some woven, like a basket weave. A pair of earrings. must be stuck on something but there's a lot of little rhinestones I wonder if they could be taken off and repurposed I do have a sparkle and we have these aren't these pretty two-tone reminds me of premier designs they do a lot of two-tone. I've seen two-tone in Romans, similar to this. Brighton also has, but I don't see any any marks to say otherwise, or which one it might be, but they're pretty. I like those. Statement necklace, uh, Ruby Road, the hammered look with the, I think this is just painted, it's, they're not individual stones, I think it's just painted, enameled on there, but again, got some yellow, and that's coming off a little brighter than it actually is. Yeah, definitely. Definitely brighter. This is pretty, pretty true to color, but the yellows for some reason are coming off lighter. But, got that. Not bad. Oh, yeah, we've got some molded in place. Acrylic or plastic beads. And 
and oh, we've got three little egg shape in the golden gold tone, goldish yellow. And we have this. This is nice. No name. Oh, it's in good good condition. Very very shiny. Wow. These are acrylic beads, but wow. I think. Yeah, I think they're all acrylic. This is in great shape. Very nice. Handmade crocheted wreath made into a pen. That's cute. Another one of these bangles. This one looks smaller than the other ones. Oh, look. Oh, it was ear an earring. <laughs> I don't know if I would wear these as earrings. But they are cute. As a collage type of thing. If you're doing a farm theme or Thanksgiving, these are nice beads. Except, is that dirty or is that peeling? Anyway, got that. Oh, well, this is nice. I do believe we have some snowflake obsidian. It's definitely cold. Very nice. I'm not crazy about this. I think that's plastic. But I do like these beads. I do like my stones. I like natural. You know, I like a lot of different things, but I, I like I prefer the stones. This has got a name on it. So let me take a look. It says 14K gold filled. So could be the clasp, although I don't see any writing on the clasp. But it's so small. Oh, it could be the little beads. They could be 14 karat gold filled. I don't know, are these hematite? They look gray, but I'm not sure. But it says 14 karat gold filled. I'll take it. Oh, this is pretty too. This kind of matches the the other one we just got. I mean, they are glass beads. Smaller version. Very sparkly. Very nice. No name. Very, very short. Choker, definitely sh choker. Oh, we got another one like this, but I think they were colored. They were a different color. I don't remember if it was last week or last video or the video before, but we definitely got one with stations like this. And this is two-tone, so it's I don't think it's meant to be two-tone. I think it's a gold plating and it's wearing off. And we've got this $5 necklace. Made in India. Oh, a lot of time goes into these. Oh, they can sell them for such a little bit of money, I don't know. We got this. Seed bead. I like the seed beads. They are they are good quality because they are very uniform. Usually a lot of the seed bead I guess like this. See how irregular they are? They're all different sizes. You know different widths and thicknesses and these are nice. I like the beads on that. 
and another molded in place. Gold tone. Wow, this one. Well, this is just like the one we got before. <laughs> it fell down. Yep. Yeah, the other one was just like this. I don't know if this is intentional or if it's worn off. But, got that. Okay, let's get that out of the way. This is a little outstretched, but here are some, I imagine, wooden beads or seed beads of some sort. Actual seeds. <laughs> and we have this. A lot, a lot of um, chain. Got the gunmetal. This, I think it's supposed to be like a gold tone. Yeah, so it's the two, the gold tone and the gunmetal. And pom-poms. <laughs> well, if they're in half, is it a pom-pom? I guess that would be a pom-pom. <laughs> Got little fuzzies. I mean, a lot if you wanted to take this apart. Some of this chain is still very usable. Oh, okay. Got a little bit more. Is this another eyeglass? No, it isn't. We've got the silver lined beads, which are not sterling. And we've got a bunch of sparkly beads. Toggle clasp, toggle closure. I'm not sure if I like these two here. This is the center. Something else should be there. Maybe something else was there. Maybe it came off. Did y'all see that? Okay. I, I, I'm not paying attention to the camera, so... There you go. And we have some coconut. And suede cord. And wood. These are wooden beads. Alright, well we got two more of these bracelets. I don't think they're in very good shape to wear like this, but I'm telling you. I, I, let me look at this real quick. I think these are strips with the rhinestones glued on. Yeah. If you need some small, I'm telling you, that's probably a two millimeter, maybe smaller. I'm, I know I am spending too much time on this, but I'm really curious. If I could get in there just to see. Yeah, I think it's a two millimeter. Well, well, well. Oh, that's pretty. It's a single earring. Alrighty, well this is very lightweight. Oh, it's an open necklace. This is very lightweight, but it's very pretty. Yeah, the, these are a little skimpy. But this is, this is pretty chain. Alrighty. We got a bag. See if this is a necklace. It is. No name. But it is in very good condition. So I'm going to put it back in the bag to keep it that way. I have another pink watch. Ooh, pink and purple. No name. It's quartz, though. It's pulled. That's why I was wondering if it would work if we uh, pushed it in. Nope. Wow, that's a big watch. And we have a oh stretch bracelet. And it goes this way, I think. Well, we have, I 
guess a palm tree, a basket, a pineapple. This is South Carolina state shape. And then another basket, pine cone, a pine cone. Listen to me. Um, palm tree <laughs> and uh, pineapple. And another. Okay, we have two of each. Two, 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 and two. But it needs restringing. And we have this. Oh, these are plastic. Got pretty purple hearts. It's got a blemish. I don't see a name, but it's got a pattern on it. We have this one. Claire's. Oh! <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. This looks like it matches those earrings. These are the earrings I'm talking about. It's a different tone metal, though. That's kind of nice. I mean, you can't really... I mean, if I'm looking through the camera down at this, I can't tell. But see? It has the glitter on the inside of it. In gold tone. So that's nice. And we have this. This is... Yeah, we had one like this last week. I think it was the same shade, same color also. Here's string. It's a bracelet, but... Oh, my! Oh, look at this! Isn't this cute? It's an elephant, a puffy. Like a stuffed animal. <laughs> that is so cute! It really has some dimension. It's, uh, it's an elephant. That's funny. Okay, we'll get a few more pieces out of here. Aren't those pretty? So maybe clay? Like the polymer clay? They look the same, but one looks maybe a little bigger than the other. Maybe it's just me. But they're very pretty. And these are white glass beads. Very nice. I like it. And we have a wooden bangle, kind of chopped off there. Painted green. Ooh. Geneva. Oh, it's in bad shape. Well, that's what it looks like underneath. And if we clean the glue off of it and just wear it as a silver band. All the rhinestones are there. This, I can't say that I've seen one like this. Does this come apart? It's, if it does, it's not coming apart. It's turning, but it's not unscrewing. Very small, very... Very warm. And we have more shell, which is losing the color. If it were me, or what I would do in this situation, I would just, I would have polish remover would take that off, an acetone. Or you saw how easy it was to just scrape it off. I, I would get rid of the, the red. You can always, if you wanted it red, you could always repaint it. But this is all in good shape. Everything except for the shell. Oh, and we have another eyeglass holder. Pretty beads. Yep, pretty beads. I don't know, are these like the ones you get at the dollar store? I mean, I see that they have them in there, but... I'm not sure if they're this nice. Some good beads on there, though. Oh, this is broken. 
It's a butterfly. Looks like something is missing. Maybe the yeah, the body's missing and only one of the Oh no 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 wait a minute. I don't know if that's stuck under there or not. Oh it is. There's two of them here, but it's yeah, it's very thin wire. Oh well. Maybe we could do something and here's a watch band. I don't know what that says. Looks like it says unhook. Let me see. It says Pride Hong Kong. Gilted top, stainless steel back. And it did say unhook, so I guess to, to, you pull it apart and unhook it if you need to take links off. Wow. So, gold plate it. But st it's, it's not a good quality stainless steel. It's sticking, and it shouldn't. Alrighty. Do we want more? I see this. Is this stretch? Oh yeah. Very tight though. But those are pretty. Yeah. I see everything. I love the emerald cut and I love it as a ring. Oh my. We are down to about half the jar now. You know I don't want to stop. Let me pull this out. I don't see a name, a brand name, but it's a money clip. Gold tone, lightweight. Could has a place for, for monogramming. For a monogram. Oh wait a minute. Nope, that's just scuff. I think it does some have some writing on it. I have to look. It sure does look like writing, but I can't, can't really make anything out, but got that. All right, we're going to stop with this one. <laughs> Isn't this nice? Wow. Come on. This doesn't have a name. This reminds me, oh, it's missing a stone right there and there. And there. <laughs> that looks like a Chico's. Well, those rhinestones could be replaced. I, I kind of like that. I like this clasp. How it's squared off. And here's a... I don't know if that would go in there. It's not really a rhinestone. It's just a crystal and I lost it. Alrighty, well, we are going to stop with this. This is nice. So, we are finding some sterling. We are finding some rather interesting pieces. A lot of this, that, and everything, really. And like I said, we are maybe just a hair under half. i got to stop looking. <laughs> I keep seeing pieces I want to pull out. Oh, my. Okay, but this is how we're going to end. So, as always, I thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I just love going through this stuff. But it's all interesting. It's all so much fun. So, we're going to have a part four, maybe a five. So, if you're not yet subscribed, you might want to do that. And then you're, and hit the bell for notification because then you'll be notified when I put up the next video. The next installment of this jar. And if you haven't seen the first two, there'll be links to that as well in the description box. Might want to check them out. So, until next week, I hope you all take care. I'll see you on that next video. Until then, bye-bye.